All right, so you're about to jump into basic training and you're trying to figure out, is the military going to be for you? Maybe you've gotten to a point in your life where you're trying to see if this is the next step. I'm going to tell you in this video, the number one thing that you need to focus on before joining the military and before going to basic training. So that way you have a clear understanding and a clear path on what you should do next coming up. All right, so the first thing and the only thing that I keep telling people whenever they ask me, Joseph, what is it that I need to focus on when I'm joining the military? How did you do it? This is what it is, point blank period. You need to focus on your escape route, okay? Focus on your escape. Figure out what that means to you. It doesn't necessarily mean getting out of the military, but when you're done, let's say if you decided to do 20 years in the military, your escape route, what is your next phase in life? Because there is going to be an end, right? And there's going to be a new chapter of your life. And so it's very important that if you're going to join the military, you have a plan. Time and time again, I see too many people jumping into the military with no plan. They're fresh out of high school. They uh, Maybe they lost the job. Um, they lost their family. They're lonely and they just jump into the military because they think that that's the right thing to do or that's the route that everyone's going or somebody told them that they should join the military. Nonetheless, regardless of your situation, the thing that you need to focus on is your escape route. So when you join the military, have a documented, I'm talking about a written, right? A written down game plan as to what you're going to do after you get out of the military. That's the thing that I did was before I joined the military, I wrote down my plan. Okay, I'm gonna use the military for this. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal all of their resources, take all of their benefits. I'm gonna serve and then I'm gonna have my plan ready so that we're on my ETS state. I know exactly what it is I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna transition out. And that's how I did it. And so I'm successful because of that. Most people jump out of the military and they go backwards. They jump into the military and then they fall on their face or fall back on their ass because they didn't have a plan. They just jumped in and didn't have a parachute, right? They just jumped off the airplane and just freaking skydiving all the way down to the damn floor, splat. Once they got out of the military, they go back to the same job, back to the same area that they came from, um, back to their family, back to their friends, nothing changed, they didn't grow. And so I'm trying to tell people, is if you wanted to grow, use the military. Take what's yours, right? Because everything that they have for you, it's yours for the taking, right? Because they're taking theirs. They're going to get anything from you. They're going to get your time. They're going to get your energy, your body, whatever MOS that you go to. So I'm not going to beat the dead horse here, right? You understand how important it is to have any kind of plan, right? Exactly. So why would you join the military without any plan? So what I'm trying to stress to you is that if you're going to join the military, make sure you have a plan. So what does that mean? That means that day of your ETS day, whether it's your first and final contract, four years, three years, two, try to get a two year contract if you're going to join the military, right? Or three, I've heard there's a three, um, but sometimes they say there isn't no such thing. Do your best to try to get two, right? Because it's gonna give you enough time to realize, okay, military may not be for me, all right? Military is not for everybody, and that's why people get out. And so you need to understand that, have your plan, know what you're going to do once you're done, so that way you don't fall on your ass, all right? So make sure you have a plan. And what that plan consists of is, what career do you wanna get in? So before you join the military, you need to know, where are you going next? What are you going to do next? Are you going to start a business? Are you going to jump into a career that's going to be for the big bucks? Because that's what everyone mostly wants is money, right? So find a job that's going to pay you the big bucks once you get out the military. I'll give you five quick MOSs and then I'm out. Then you're going to catch me in the next video. Five MOSs that you should get into so that way you can have the right mindset and the right transition out of the military so you can get that money. 
Number one, nursing. We all know nurses get paid a ton of money. The job demand in the market is second to none, right? There's nurses everywhere, doctors everywhere are needed the most in the world. So definitely nursing. I think it's 68 whiskeys or anything 68. Um, or just look it up. Look up nursing for military. There's tons of different areas that you can get into. And so the good thing is when you get in the military, it's not that hard. Sure, you're gonna be doing nursing stuff, but it's not like civilian sector where they're expecting a ton of stuff from you. They're expecting a lot from you to be adequate, sufficient enough to do that job. So nursing. Number two, the second best thing that you can do is what I do. I'm a 36 problem, finance. We all know, <laughs> we all know that finance in the world is the best. It's the best job you can get into. You can get finance jobs anywhere, whether it's a final financial strategist or financial analyst, uh, a business strategist, or if you're a uh, financial coordinator for, of some sort, you can get into financial planning. You can be a banker, business banker, tons of different things in the finance world. So if you get into finance, boom, you have something on your resume that's solid. It's something that's gonna be strong, and prepare you to get to that next phase in your life so that way you can make over six figures as soon as you get out to military now that's a dope ass transition don't you agree three the third one as most people know firefighters firefighters get paid a shit ton of money regardless of what anyone says yes it's obviously a hard job but it's not that really when you really think about it if you're an outgoing person or if you're a uh, an environmentalist or if you are just an outdoorsy kind of person or you like taking risks the firefighter job positioning in the military is like one of the easiest and probably the hardest one to get into but lucrative opportunities especially when you transition out of the military so the point is have your plan and know the right jobs to get into period number four cybersecurity or intelligence something along the lines of engineering or intelligence if it has intelligence in the job title guess what you're intelligent right you might not be with the highest iq but it does give you opportunity for you to get out of the military and land on a job opportunity because you have the experience within that realm of what you need to crack six figures everyone wants their six figures that's ten thousand dollars per month that's pretty big money right you know that you need six figures to survive especially if you're in california or if you're up north or if you're down south in florida like i am you need six figures point blank period so you have to set up your journey getting into the military and when you get out you can fall back on something don't get into i see people all the time getting into jobs that they're not looking into the future they doing it because other people are doing it and they think it's the coolest thing to do when in reality it's the worst idea like for instance sorry to say but infantry infantry is not the route to go because sure it's gonna be cool you're gonna be the whole, a whole bunch of shit hoorah <laughs> but none of that matters right when you get out the military because an employer is gonna look at your resume they're gonna look at okay how can you provide value to me? All you've been doing is shooting up the place. Or you, when they think of the infantry position title in the military, they think of movies, right? Infantry movies, right? When you think about movies, soldier movies, army movies, those are infantry men doing infantry shit. So don't do anything physical. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, right? Transition right. And the fifth one that I'm going to stress to you that you should do 100%, right? I mean, I can give you more and more ideas, but just, just to get started, it's human resources, HR. HR is everywhere. There's tons of recruiters that are getting paid tons of money, six figures by landing great talent on companies, for companies. So that's a good idea, right? I mean, you can start a business using talent acquisition or recruiting as your business structure model so i mean bro <laughs> sister whatever it is that you do think about how
how is it going to allow you to transition out of the military being able to make tons and tons of money even if it's just an entry-level job have it so that way it makes sense from getting in from the standpoint of getting in to getting out right so there you have it that's the number one thing that you need to focus on if you're joining the military and you want to explode the next phase of your life i gave you five 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 crucial major mos's that you can focus on jobs so that way you can land a good career when you get out the military whether it's two years from now four years from now all the way you did your contract and you've done 20 years you still need to, you need experience on a position that will allow you to get into a career that allow you six figures because imagine you retired and you're 40 years old 45 depending on what time you got in let's say you got in at 18 you get out at 38 or 40 and you did 20 years you're gonna get out and start all over again no that doesn't make sense why would you do that so make sure you have a right job that pays big bucks so that way you have 20 years of experience in that particular field so that way you can land at 40 years old if you decide to do 20 on six figures two years from now four years from now still a better idea all right so there you have it number one Thing that you need to focus on i give you five mos's that you need to also focus on if you're going to join the military and i hope that was value to you so i just literally came up with this i sat down i'll probably give you this skit and how i just literally thought about what to say to provide value to you so that way you don't get fucked up right? you don't get fucked up joining the military because i got misled when i got in and i don't want you to get misled so Hopefully that was a value to you. Do me a favor. I need you to subscribe. Subscribe so that way I can keep producing content for you. Like this video so that way others can see this video. And so that way we can spread the, the, the gospel. The gospel of the military so that way people don't get screwed going in and coming out. Right? So, subscribe. Like the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and do me a favor, drop a comment down below. Tell me what are your thoughts? What are you going to do when you join the military? Do you have a plan? What is your plan? I don't care if it's just one sentence, two sentence. Put a comment down below and I'll answer it. And then I'll help you through the whole process so that way you get the most amount of value from our community, from this channel. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what are your thoughts? What MOS are you looking to get into? If you did get in the military, what MOS did you get into? Let them know. Don't do it or do do it. Because there's tons of jobs out there. I don't know them all. But you guys do if you are in the military or you have uh, done your contract. So until next time, thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully that was great. And I'll see you on the next video. Don't. Fuck it up. <laughs> Alright, I'm out.